Hi friends, I am Dr. Bindu Tikalyan, Head of the Department of Physical Education, Christ College, Irigayanakula. Now we are going to discuss about the physical activity, exercise and fitness. Physical activity is defined as the any voluntarily bodily movement produced by skeletal muscle that requires energy expenditure. It includes physical exercise as well as our daily activities. Physical activities are always help us to burn more calories from our body and enhance the metabolic process. The high level of metabolic process help the individual to attain optimum level of health. As per the wording of WHO, the 81% of adolescents do not get enough physical activity daily and the 70% of adults are suffering from various hypokinetic diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, stroke, cancers, etc. Physical activity refers to all movements. The proper ways to be get active include walking, cycling, sports and games, recreational activities and can be done at any level of skills and enjoy your life. Next, we can see what is exercise. The planned and structured form of physical activities that helps the individual to maintain or enhance health and fitness. That was the definition of exercise. Most of you are familiar with certain physical activities such as walking, jogging, cycling, weight training, swimming, etc. These all physical activities are good to build up and maintain our physical health. But there will be a problem is that the similar, continuous, repeated and long durable activities may cause us to get injury. For example, someone has been used working only as his exercise routine for several years. Thus, those who use only walking are more likely to have uh, knee pain and back pain. Therefore, we need a complete fitness program for the optimal development of our body. We have to use different exercise patterns to uh, patterns together to execute our training program. For that purpose, we have to plan the physical activity on the basis of one's age, sex, current fitness level, gender, body weight and etc. Just note this thing carefully. If you are going to plan exercise program for a hypertension patient, you should more care about his physical condition and the opinion of a doctor should be also be taken. Otherwise, there may be a chance to get harmful condition during his training program. After getting all the information regarding the individual, we can make a structure by including all the required uh, exercise with comfortable manner. This kind of scientific approach definitely help us to enhance our physical fitness without any kind of injury or problems. Next, we have the type of physical activity or exercises. There are two types of physical activities, aerobic activities and anaerobic activities. Aerobic activities are the type of exercises that breaks down glucose in the body by using sufficient amount of oxygen. These are the exercises comes under the low intensity category and we can perform it for a long duration without any fatigue. For example, walking, jogging, cycling, aerobics, etc. The main functions of aerobic exercises are to enhance cardiorespiratory fitness and endurance, to enhance muscular endurance and to reduce excess body weight from our body. Next, anaerobic exercises. Anaerobic exercise is a type of exercise that breaks down glucose in the body without using sufficient level of oxygen. For example, jumping, sprinting, push-ups, pull-ups, etc. Anaerobic exercises are categorized as high intensity exercises, therefore these are less durable.
the individual may get fatigue more faster as compared to the aerobic exercises the aerobic exercises are mainly sorry the anaerobic exercises are mainly used to enhance the following physical qualities it helps to improve body strength and speed it helps to build up lean body mass and muscles and it helps to increase bone density next physical fitness physical fitness is the ability of an individual to carry out his daily task with desired quantity and quality without fatigue physical fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition physical exercises and sufficient rest proper nutrition means your body gets all the nutrients vitamins and minerals plan your meals and include nutri dense foods with low calories like fruits vegetables egg and milk just doing a few exercises to achieve proper physical fitness does not matter things need to be planned and exercised by including strengthening exercises flexibility exercises endurance exercises etc there are five major components of physical fitness speed strength endurance flexibility and body composition if you include all five components of the above in your exercise routine you can achieve better fitness level first we are going to discuss about speed the ability of an individual to cover maximum distance or do the things with a minimum interval of time is called speed for example sprinting sprint cycling playing basketball football etc next strength the ability of an individual to act against or overcome any kind of resistance is called strength for example lifting the weights wrestling climbing tug of war pushing or pulling the objects or car and any other loads next endurance the ability of an individual to work or act for a long duration without fatigue is called endurance while doing endurance activities individuals heart lungs and muscles are work together for a long time heart help our body to pump sufficient blood to the muscles lungs uh, trying to reoxygenate the blood and muscles continually produce Uh, energy and keep the body move next flexibility flexibility is the range of motion or movement of an individual this kind of exercises promote better relaxation and comfort uh, and also it provide faster recovery to your body flexibility exercises are also act as the pain reliever of our body we can easily prevent joint pains and muscle pains by performing flexibility exercises for example uh, stretching exercises mobility exercises yoga etc and our last point body composition body composition is the percentage of body fat muscles bone and water that means the relationship of your body weight and the above said things as we all know that excess fat is the only thing that we can consider as a consider as an unwanted thing uh, in our body other factors like muscles bones and water are in the positive side we can reduce the fat storage by doing exercises like jogging cycling weightlifting etc thank you